Thank you, Bob. Um, it's great to be here today. I want to just sort of say at the outset um, that I am going to have to dash out of here shortly after I, I get a chance to welcome you. Um, as, as Bob said, I just got back from China. The pile on my desk is, is approximately eight feet deep, virtually and, and literally. Um, but I wouldn't want to miss this event for anything because uh, it's important to me and I believe it's very, very important uh, to the University of Rhode Island for, for a number of reasons that I want to comment on uh, very, very briefly. You know, in, in times like we face these days, uh, so much of our conversation, both at universities and in the State House, where I'll be later today and tomorrow, uh, across the state, and indeed across the country, all turns on factors of what in the world are we going to do uh, to rebuild the American economy, to rebuild the Rhode Island economy, what's the role of the university in those kinds of activities, what is URI going to do for the state, uh, how is it going to help the people of the state, and those are all great conversations and they're appropriate conversations, and in every case URI is happy to be a participant and a contributor. Uh, but it's, it's easy in times like these to overlook other things that make universities special and that are intrinsic to the role uh, of the university and to the mission of the university and especially of a public university in a state like Rhode Island. And today we're here to celebrate that broader role of the university, I believe. And that broader role of the university is to not only do research in sciences and engineering, to not only do business education and business research and the social sciences and all the rest, but the role of the university, quite honestly, is to continue to be a leader in artistic expression and in the humanities, and to provide a forum not only to foster new innovation and new creative work in those areas, but to celebrate its achievements and its accomplishments and its importance in the nation in Rhode Island and in the world. And one thing that's very clear when one travels internationally is, is, although it is fair to say that the 21st century is going to be a century of probably unparalleled scientific and technological advance and activity. And, you know, people say, well, the 20th century was the century of physics, the 21st century is going to be the century of biology. Those statements are common, and there's a great deal of truth to them. But I believe the 21st century, more than probably any other century, is going to be a century of the arts. And it's going to be a century where arts, I think, are ever more prominent because of the increasingly globalized nature of our society. It's not just our economy that is globalized. It is our society that is globalized. And the power of artistic expression of image and its interpretation and meaning has probably never been more important than it is today. And we need to acknowledge that because the, artist, the artistic expression and the arts themselves are a way of communicating across all kinds of otherwise almost insurmountable human barriers and cultural barriers because there's something about the arts that speaks to our spirits and our souls that transcends our history and our past, and our race, our culture, our traditions even though art reflects all of those things. And what we're here to do today, in part, is to celebrate the importance of art, I think, in the 21st century, of artistic expression to the university and to the people of Rhode Island, and the place of the University of Rhode Island in promoting it, not just by its academic study in our Department of Art and Art History, important though that is, and not just in the work of our own artists is as important and as innovative as that is, but in promoting the work of other artists and other creative visions across the state. And we do that with the Public Arts Program in collaboration with the Rhode Island State Council of the Arts, with the, with the committee that, that Bob Wagan just mentioned, and with many donors and supporters of the arts here uh, in Rhode Island. And Peter, I just want to say to you that I could not be more pleased uh, to be here today to share in this moment with you the celebration of the sculpture which stands outside Lippitt Hall. It's a wonderful piece of art. It's, it, it's expressive. To me, it, it's one of the first things I noticed during the interview on the campus. It's, it's, it's not easy to overlook indeed because it sits out there uh, facing the quad and it makes a statement, it, and it makes an important statement about the role of arts in the university as well as a statement about the intent and vision of the artist himself. So thank you very much, Peter, for winning the competition. Um, for 
bringing your art here to the University of Rhode Island. To you, Randy, for help for partnering with us to make this possible. Uh, it is something that we should support in the state, no matter how scarce dollars may be. Uh, this is something I think the University of Rhode Island needs to do, should do, and we should partner with the state and the people of Rhode Island to ensure that art continues to enjoy the place it needs to have and should have in the 21st century. So Peter, I want to congratulate you on a wonderful piece of work. Thank you for sharing your vision with the faculty and students and the people of Rhode Island. It will be, be making a statement about your artistic vision and about the future, I think, for a long time to come. And that's very important to all of us. So, And thank you all for joining us here today.